What's going on, everybody? Let's jump right in. We are going to play this Modern Brew. This is a deck critique by none other than a uh, longtime subscriber, Sarah C., otherwise known as Sarav Demir Mastermind. My eyes might look a little wet because I just watered them. I watered them like a fine plant. So now I'm going to have to deal with wet eyes. Okay, so this is the deck. As it was submitted, it had four Rest in Peace and two Kayas. But, like, Kaya's kind of doing the same job as Rest in Peace, exiling those those troublesome graveyard cards. And we kind of want to test out the Kayas here. So, I think we're going to stick... I, mean, I added a third Kaya because I want to make sure we give it a good I give it a good shake. Uh, otherwise, we're trying to take advantage of the processing power of Wasteland Stranglers, Rally Smashers, Thought Not Seers, Blight Herders, and Oblivion Sowers. So... What did you you I got oh got to touch the name okay I because I actually changed you had it called uh, black white processor I called it Kaya Eldrazi because it gives you a better idea of what the deck is, um, but so there are some questionable things in here I am not a huge collected brutality fan I know it's a fine card I think people like it a lot more than I do I just never I think all, it's like it's three underwhelming modes and I think like a card like Coligon's Command is just so much better but anyway anyway that's not the point. One Orzov Signet is really throwing me here. I'm like, what is this one Orzov Signet? You, just, you, you, you know, YOLO? Eh, sometimes you draw your Signet, sometimes you don't. I don't know. And uh, then you got these guys. Do you have Eldrazi Temples? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. I can't really... I meant I got attached to my... Yeah, that's what I did. I, I figured it. I figured it out. I knew. Okay, so... I can't actually make any changes yet because I don't know what I would change... Right, I get it in case you draw any color slants, but like a one of is interesting. It's an interesting one of, let's put it that way. So I'm going to play it like this and see what happens. I'm hoping that just like the other day, our Thought Not Seers and our Wasteland Stranglers. Oh God, I forgot what I called the deck. Kai, 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 Kai. Yes. I didn't want to, I didn't want to miss out on playing Lucky Pirates. Lucky Pirate was well, single. I don't want to, I don't want to call them multiple pirates if they're just one pirate should i turn the magic arena on in the background so we get some sweet ambient birds and things you know there isn't a black white talisman which is interesting oh this is nice it's a turn two wasteland strangler but not really because we don't have a way to put a card in exile on turn one hmm it's still a turn two rest in peace so here's the thing uh rest in peace is actually a non-bow with kaya because you're already exiling the cards and then you're like, I'm going to exile... Oh, no. I guess I'm going to exile none. So that's rough. <laughs> Can he do my critique? Not quite yet. I'm so... <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. So, Danny, the critique you have is literally... Oh, my God. It's literally... Inverter of Truth. Just do Inverter of Truth. <laughs> it's like, I still have it in the queue. It's still on my list, but it's going to take, I'm going to like have to really like, we're keeping this hand anyway. I agree that some decks scoop to rest in peace, but it's also rough when we're trying to like, because then this becomes a Planeswalker where you plus one her and it does nothing. <laughs> Filled with tentacles as we meet again for the first time. Oh my god, literally becoming one of my favorite intros. Good times, good times. I think we just play Godless Shrine here and then we can... We can Eldrazi Temple if we hit... Where are the Matter of Shapers at? I guess that's true. I guess her ultimate is very, very good if you uh, if you do have Rest in Peso. Although I think we're playing like... Burn? Humans? We're also looking at a deck that has no interest in putting things in the graveyard, it seems. If any card goes to the graveyard... Oh, Marsh Flats goes to the... Oh, it's not ours, though. It's, it's process, You can only process their stuff, right? Oh, my God. I hope they crack a fetch land here. Can you imagine? They crack a fetch land, and then we just go... Oh, that's not a fetch land. Dang it. Why aren't they cracking their things? Just put something in the graveyard, man. Just put something in the graveyard. None of these go to the graveyard. 
I want you to go to the graveyard. I want your whole life to go to the graveyard. The clue never goes to the graveyard. How did the eye lasering go? Pretty good. Pretty good. My eyes are now fully lasered. What is this? Wait, exile non land permanent with a critical man cost one or less? Hmm. I mean, we could literally just get rid of this. We lose our Kaya there, but I, I think that's probably the best course of action when we want to live. Come with me if you want to live. Do we have any double white cards? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll get a swamp because we actually have black cards in our deck. We could also Thought Not Seer here. First time I watched you, you were playing Eldrazi deck. You were wearing a sweet gla sweet glasses, wearing glasses and a sweet jacket. Now I'll never wear glasses again. Um. All right, we're gonna just play Thought Not Seer because I think it's better use of mana. And also, I kind of want the Kaya to survive. I want your whole life to go to the graveyard. Wow, did I say that? You're right, though. That is a great quote. Blessed Alliance. I don't care about that. I'm gonna take the lightning bolt because I don't. I want to be able to like block one of these guys and then trade. If both you own and control Hanor Battlelands and... Yeah, all right, cool. So next turn we can... Oh, we can Wasteland Strangler that next turn and kill like... I don't know. Something good, right? Don't draw anything cool. I can still wear these. There you go. Now I still have Ray-Bans on. I can't see where my, my mouse is though. Oh, God. Wow, I literally can't see where the cursor is. Where is the cursor? Oh, I found it. Oh, how it like, disappears because of the polarization. Can we just do this? I'll stream like this. It's hard because it's polarized, so like it's really... It's not working out well. Okay, so what do you have? Blessed Alliance? Did you just top deck a Lightning Bolt? That'd be amazing if you did. I'd be so proud of you. You play the other Battlements? No. No, you didn't do anything. Well, butter my biscuits. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We don't have enough mana for everything. How many do I need? Three, right? Two cards? If they played the battlements, they only had two cards in hand, right? So they would draw one, go to three. If they play the battlements, they should still have two. Oh, they cracked the clue. You're right. Okay. Okay. You guys are so smart. God, I can't even handle it. I really want to just kill this because it's going to get bigger, but it's not going to get bigger by two, at least in the next turn. I do want to tick this up, but I don't think that's... We can actually... We can just play Kaya and exile this guy. Or we can just play Blightherder. We can just play Blightherder as well. Actually, Blightherder putting these two in the graveyard leaves us with Kaya... Exiling them both and gaining two life next turn, and that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Oh, this is exciting. I'm having a good time already. Can we talk about my good time? I wish it was twice as much, because it's really hard to get cards in exile. I'm just going to get planes here. Let's herd the blights. It is two, right? I, I think I played this card at the Pro Tour. I have no idea. Two cards you opponent... Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure I did. It's a very good card. Uh, put these in your graveyard. Crackland Ironworks is banned. That is... Crack Clan wrecked. That's not how that's... Why are they still there? Oh, because they just go right back? <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh lord, that's amazing, dude. I'll just put them in the graveyard. Nope, just leave them there. Just, just leave them. It's fine. It's fine. Just leave them there. It's not a big deal. Oh man, rest in peace OP, dude. So I guess, I guess we literally never get to target anything. Can you explain how this bypasses rest in peace? No, I cannot. I made that up. It never does that. Oh, we're always watching. 
Okay, so you have Blessed Alliance and one other card in hand. Path to Exile? Heck yeah, I'll use Path to Exile's ability. Let's get a waste. We only have one waste right now. Or one colorless source, I guess. No attack there. Fascinating. One, two, three. Okay, this is nice because we can go one, two, three for Kaya. Can I show you what this does? And wait, what just happened? Thank you. Oh, we got rid of it. Okay, we did it. Nope, not that one. Danny B, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. We really appreciate it. Happy four months. Do you give me a critique? I did not. I did. Uh, it's in the mail. I'll be sending it to you very soon. I'll put this one back. I think the Eldrazi are winning. And they said Kaya was bad. It still is. We can actually get in there because they don't have their Blessed Alliance mana up. Got him. Man, I've interacted with Eldrazi all week. We played... Oh, we can just take their Blessed Alliance now. That's cool. I'm buying a house, but I still think sometimes you got to give your money to you because, hey, other people have also have a house. <laughs> Go figure. I don't know how that applies anyway. <laughs> you know, no, I think that's I think that's perfectly logical. I think that makes a lot of sense. I can get behind that. I think you're right. Other people need houses too. Everybody needs a house. Universal universal income and housing for everybody. So we get to take their one, their one blessed alliance. Oh, they're just going to gain four here. You got it. You got it. Done. Okay. Pump it up. So this is going to deal seven and we gain seven at this point. Um, I think they're going to die way before that. Puppy Dog, guys, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I hope your house is awesome and I hope everything goes smoothly because um, that is a, a stressful process for sure. Like, if we sack these three, we lose three creatures to play a 5-5. Five, five, so we, we get two more damage in. But I don't really feel like that's worth giving up three bodies for. Mike is the fourth Eldrazi Titan. Yeah, it's Emrakul, Ulamog, Kozlek, and Mike, Mike Lamog. Saltai Vanabar is pretty strong. I want to see you do stuff. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Toro, can I trust you to, to mod you? Because I'd like to, because we're friends. But on the same hand, thank you. I don't know, man. Dockman, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Exile sub. One exile sub. Sounds good. All right, so they are playing a bunch of humans. Let's bring in Wrath and Day of Judgment. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm a big fan of you playing but one of each. However, Day of Judgment should probably be Damnation, right? Like, we don't have a favor over white to black. Our, our lands are pretty much evenly split, right? Literally down the middle, I think. Two, two, two. Um, also, Fatal Push seems great here. Thoughtseize can probably go. Inquisition and, and, and Fatal Push and Path are probably going to take care of all of those. I'm going to cut one rest because I don't think it's as good here. I actually like Kai because it does get rid of... Uh, What's his name? What's it? What's his name? I, you know, you know the one guy. I'll take out one Oblivion Sower too. Uh, champion of Wits. Champion of Wits? No, Champion of the Parish. I will ship you rough drafts as I get them. Test them up. They do that. That that sounds sweet. Also, I'm really surprised you were able to get this Twitch name. I want a mulligan here. All right, we'll keep this. If they play a one drop, we can kill it with a... Uh, I actually don't want that here. 
I don't think this is a great matchup for Rest in Peace, and we do have Kaya to start. Oh, here we go. I can process that, my dudes. Eldrazi Temple. I accept that. I'm actually going to play Marsh Flats here, because if they do play a guy, eh, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't want to. I'll take one instead of two, and we'll just take a... My life is a mess. I bought low sodium soup and put salt in it. What is going on anymore? <laughs> yeah, don't do that. I've had low sodium soup before, and it's literally just the. It's you might as well just you just might just market it as low flavor soup. Okay, oh, now we can just get a godless shrine and not worry about it. Or like, are they gonna play? They're not gonna play like Blood Moon on us, right? Are they gonna Blood Moon us? Is that really a thing? I doubt it, right? Like, that seems really bad. Okay, okay. No. So, they're, we like, we just kill whatever they play next turn, and then we get to Kaya? Are they going to Blood Moon? There's no way they got three planes, three, three non-basics, and they Blood Moon us, right? Like, that just doesn't. Wow, we're playing a modern match, and the first card we play is a Kaya. That's unbelievable to me. Get him. Always play around Blood Moon, even in standard. You know, that's not actually not terrible advice. All right. So next turn we can Wasteland Strangler the Thraben Inspector. And we can actually exile the... Oh, that changes things, doesn't it? Well, that's pretty good. Oh, it's a black dude. He's a, he's a, he's a black card. All right, so we're going to play this guy. Hello again. Hello... We're going to target you. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This seems pretty good so far. I'm uh, kind of okay with it so far. Huh. You know what? All right. You got yourself a deal, buddy. That does not seem ideal. Let's exile Thalia's Lieutenant and the path, and we God, we get two life? Come on. This card's broken, dude. What were they thinking? That's too much mana? I overpaid? God, my, my mana cup runneth over. My Eldrazi, my Reality Smasher runneth over. Runneth over your face. Doing a little smashy. That's, uh... You know, oh, are you gonna... Oh, no. Oh, don't. Oh, this is so much... Oh, they... Oh, God. All right, I mean... Sure, I guess. For some reason, this card I always play around as intervention packed. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird thing to do. What if they have? <laughs> All right, so what? I'm at four. Oh god, you have a four four, or I have a four four. So if I attack you, I mean, I guess you could kill me. Look, she doesn't even die right here. Oh, that's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to process two of these, and then we're going to gain two life. It's at least one of them, right? Okay, so we're not going to gain four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Let's say five. Blight Herder. You Blight Herd? I want this because it blocks this guy, and then we can... Uh, let's go... We'll, but we'll put both creatures back. And then we'll process one this turn and one next turn so we can gain some life. Thraben and Path. Seems good. 
And now we're not really afraid of your Tajik anymore. I see. I see. Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. Well then. Um you and oh, you and uh, you. Gain two more. God, look at the life gain is unbelievable. There are lots of things happening. Let's crack this and get a wastes. In case they do have a blood moon. Oh, we already where's our wastes? Oh, it's a marsh flats. You can't get a waste of the marsh flats, you dummy. Um, do we play this yet? No. One, two, three. Just use all the mana. There's like five mana in the pool. Just use that. Why are you like this? Interesting build. You too, buddy. You too. Okay. Fashion relate to the party. That's okay. It's been a struggle coming up for some that's 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 me before every event. What do I want to play at this event? I don't know. That's why I literally like... It's one of the reasons I like, I don't actually enjoy going to big tournaments as much. Because I'm just like... I just don't know what to play. <clears throat> so, three, two. This guy, does he get first strike? No, he can get first strike, but you can't get it now. So, we can actually attack with both of these guys and just keep our keep our tiny boys back. Just play the not. Can I play like the twelve bolt version? You get a bolt. You get. A, they have to no blocks. Someone give me the deckless link. Dick. Did he just die? Oh, he did. He did. Oh, in the end, the game has ended. Alright, so what don't we like? I think three rest in peace is still fine. I think four is kind of overkill because you're going to draw it in situations where you do not want it. You absolutely do not want it. God, I really like all the other cards in the deck. I think six, three Oblivion Sower is a bit much because Modern is not a six mana format. <clears throat> we'll, we'll always have match one. Match one actually went well. Uh, I like the Kaya's. I like the Paths. I could cut the Collective Brutality and put it in the sideboard. I'm like, mm, not about you. Uh, let's add Damnation instead of... Instead of your boy. Or Day of Judgment. Because these both say they can't be regenerated. So if they have a Thrun... You want to be able to kill that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I do like Sony Silence. Disenchant is nice, but isn't there a better disenchant? What is the... What did we play yesterday? Or the other day? Can you just play Anguished on Making for the... Yeah, I do like Anguished on Making, actually. 
I would rather have a Vindicate, but it also exiles cards, so it actually is relevant. I actually like Anguished a lot here. I don't, I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really love Engineered Explosives, especially because you can't cast it for three. And there's no Ironworks anymore. I'm just gonna put in another Anguished on Making. If two two slots in the main deck right now, I actually don't mind two fatal pushes. Hmm, interesting. Twenty-five lands. Twenty-five lands is a lot. Why do we have? This is so many lands, Sarah. So many lands. Get out of here. Um, I don't like collective brutality. It's so weird, dude. Oh, Endbringer seems great. The thing is, Oblivion Sower exiles cards. The problem is, like the the cards that exile cards deliberately, like Oblivion Sower. They're kind of contradictory to. Actually, they're not. I guess. I guess they're not. This actually goes well with Rest in Peace because you can. Hmm. See, we're either adding more signets or we're cutting the signets. That's where I'm at right now. I think we can cut one godless shrine. I think that will be our 24 lands. I like having two field of ruins. Uh, I like the caves of Koilos. I think marsh flats are great. We have enough basics. Uh, we also, I do like the one waste, so... Castigate is interesting. Hmm. I just wish there was an easy list of cards that excel things in modern, right? Like an easy card, an easy list of cards that black and white cards that excel things. Are we missing any cool Eldrazi? I don't think so. Like Eldrazi mimics the only really uh, the other ex the other Eldrazi that actually uh, wants to be. Kaya being able to kill like Death Shadows too is actually really sweet. I do like I do like Tide Hollow Sculler. No, because Tide Hollow Sculler into Wasteland Strangler is pretty sweet. Declaration in Stone, that's nice. I don't want to give them cards though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on the um, put that on the, I'm put a pin in that. We can actually take out Thoughtseizes and play Castigates. Maybe take out we'll put out one more Inquisition. I'll put the thought seasons over here for now. And let's play Let's play like three castigates. Let's take out the signet. I think we're actually good on mana. The problem is we don't have anything to do between turns one and three if we don't hit if we don't hit a temple, we actually have no real good two drops. I mean we have these, but they don't really they don't really interact with the board a lot, you know what I mean? Maybe it's two ores off signets. This is probably going to be a lot of, a lot of cards here. Flicker Wisp is neat. I don't think we want any more high stuff. I think we want to hit this, this, this one and two spot here. Hold on one second.
I'm not too worried about hitting white black. Like we have a lot of white black lands. I got a lot. 18. I think that's more than enough. If you exile a card with Journey to Nowhere, can you process it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Speaking of which, that's actually pretty good. I kind of like Journey to Nowhere. It's just a nice two mana answer for like, instead of path, like you have Journey to Nowhere. And then like you can Wasteland Strangler. I like, I want to maximize the amount of cards that we'll have to like, to Wasteland Strangler on turn three. I'm going to take out the Walking Ballista because I don't know why it's here. I'll take out one Collective Brutality. We'll leave the Thought Seizes. I think that's fine. We get one more card. God, we get so many cards. I feel like we're just, our, our card cup runneth over. It's just, oh, wait, hold on. Let's just add one more of these. And this is seven discard spells. I don't actually think we need Thoughtseize. What's a good white? How about Damping Sphere for the sideboard? I just always want to put some Damping Spheres in sideboards because I think they're irrelevant. Leyland, isn't, isn't that just Rest in Peace? Let's try it like this for now. I don't want to make too many changes because then we're not sure what changes were good and what changes were not. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. And we will hope that we draw things that... I mean, if we draw another Eldrazi Temple, we get to go turn two, rest in peace, turn three, or Alley Smasher, which is pretty good. We did not, but we can, we can pretend. Surgical Extraction is pretty bad against Rest in Peace. Because, like, if you have Rest in Peace, then you're never going to be able to target any of their cards. So it's kind of contradictory. Interesting. Thank you. MTG Calvert. Oh, thank you for anything for the good concept. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. Calvert. Eight months in a row. That is a good amount of time. Don't spell pierce me, bro. You did not. Oh, I like Celestial Purge. That's actually a good one. See, a lot of the times it's nice. Cause these these are nice. These deck critique sessions are nice because like a lot of times it's very hard to remember all of these options. <laughs> and like if I was doing this for an article, I would be able to just Google these things and figure them out and research old deck lists or, or like have a, a an extensive list of sideboard cards. But it's hard to do that on stream. So you guys are able to help out, which is pretty sweet. I don't know why they're are they reading this because no one knows what Kaya does. They're like, what does this what does this do? Mana tithe as a one of in the main. Let's actually put some purges in here. Let's do the good purge. And we'll figure out what we're taking out next. Uh, I don't know how I feel about Thalia. Thalia actually seems fine, but My problem is that Kaya is basically solely an ultimate at this point. Like, we're never going to exile a non-land permanent with a converted mana cost one. And we're never going to... Uh, we're probably never going to exile any graveyard cards either at this point. So this is 100% getting countered, but, like, what can you do? Crack my flooded strand. 
You've activated my trap card. Oh. It appears I did not activate your trap card. Hmm. I activated your path card. Hmm. I see. Uh, we're just gonna waste. We're gonna waste here because we have two marsh flats in hand. So, oh look, still threatening, still threatening. Well, they have cryptic command mana up, which is my least favorite. Wow, there's a lot of marsh flats. Uh, her ultimate is it deals damage to target player equals the number of cards that player owns in exile, and you gain that much life. So it would deal, it would deal four, and we would gain four. So any point life swing. Sure. <sighs> wow. You're going to discard another card or no? Oh, it's a, not a spell. It's an ability. Sure. I get that. Can we get a Thought Knot Seer here? That'd be great. Okay. I guess we have to add a white here. One, two, three. So the Conta will never flip and that's pretty interesting. O-Ring isn't bad, actually. I like O-Ring a lot. <clears throat> the problem is we were just looking for something in our two-drop slot. I would love a Field of Ruin. Let's crack this so we can try to maximize those odds. Thought Knots here is pretty okay, though. Mm -hmm. No Counterspell. Fascinating. I'll path it in response. Yep, I will get a land. Yep. 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 And we still get to take one, which is pretty sweet. Terminus and Opt. I actually don't care about Terminus at all. So you have Opt and one other thing. Get busy shambling. I, mean, I assume they're going to kill Akaya with their colonnade, which is fine. They did, which is pretty rude. And Terminus, and you have a Field of Ruin. You have a Field of Ruin? Ugh. You're gross. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. It's okay, guys. They top deck Jace the Mind Sculptor. Can we just draw a Reality Smasher, number three? Do we have a way to deal with the Tension Sphere? I think we want, like... <laughs> okay. 
Well, you know, like you do. So we could activate this, but then they just feel to ruin it. But it does force them to have it, so I mean, or it forces them to do it, so they don't actually have other mana to use. I think we just have to kill the Jace here, right? Like putting them to one doesn't do much, and they have infinite answers. Yeah, Jace is a little too scary. Danny, have a good night, buddy. Say hi to Mike Omog. <laughs> I will. I will tell Mike Omog you said hi. They did not feel the ruin. I'm trying to figure out why they would do that. I guess because they wanted the card that was on top. Sure. That is a good one. It still could have field of ruined. I guess I guess timely was on top and they wanted that. One, two, three, four. They can't activate this, which is nice. So we can get in there, it forces them to field of ruin now. One, two, three. Ruin that field. Get a swamper. So they're in top deck mode, and we have a Rally Smasher. This guy is trampled. They know that, right? Yeah, that is not going to work the way you think it works. This does not give you three extra turns. Okay. Again, they can't purge here. Or not Purge, uh, Colonnade. I was thinking Celestial, so I just said Colonnade instead. Uh, let's play that guy. Because even if you have Cryptic to, like, counter Bounce, you have to discard another card, and we get to just replay this guy, so. Oh, they could tap, I guess. Yeah, that's worse. But then not drawing a card, so. God, I love that cryptic command. Counter draw? Oh, all right, sure. Oh, that looks amazing. God, I love it when they like, when they mess up and then they look really cool. What if we had another rally smasher in our hand? Why are they just blocking with these one guys? Now you're like, now you're still at, you're still at, you're at two now. I don't even know what the point of blocking is. I missed thought not well he's still here. <laughs> Why not just block with both if you knew that was there? Did you not know that was there? Cuz that's pretty funny. All right. Well. It is what it is. We got one more rally smasher in our deck. Well, that is lethal. That is a lethal creature on the board. At this point, Kai would deal sixteen, which is pretty big game. Yep, that's a dude. Are you gonna bl are you gonna are you gonna tuck my shambling vent? No. Interesting. But it kills you. All right, well. Ah, we shouldn't play that, because if it gets bounced, like, we just get a... I hate doing that. I hate always forgetting that uh, I want to save my... 
Tapped Exile. Is that all of them? One, two, three. All right. Well, on the bright side, wow, you have Path and you have Cryptic Command. This must be nice. On the bright, on the bright side, Rally Smasher is no longer on the bottom. That is unfortunate against the control deck. I feel like we're a little outclassed at this at this juncture because they have Teferi and uh, we have literal nothing. So Be top deck a reality smasher and not have to not have to deal with counterspell? Is that possible? I don't think so. We could try. We could believe. Come on, Magic the Gathering. Are you ready? It's actually not terrible. I mean, if it resolves, it's not terrible. Do we overpay? Sure, we did. Do we care? Sure, we don't. They have five cards in hand. Oh, wow. All right, cool. Uh, I'll put Ghost Quarter and Opt because it doesn't really matter. They go right back. I assume you have a Terminus in hand. We overpaid. This is an ultimate at eight, so we're not dead yet. So you pretty much gotta have Terminus here, right? Or Wrath of God. And I assume you do, because you have six cards in hand and you have a Jace and a Tefri, so. Yep, all right. I'm just gonna go to the next game. I'm just, this is just not even, we're not having a good time here, unfortunately. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take out the Journeys. Bring in Anguished, bring in Thalia, bring in Collective Brutality. Probably take out two of the paths. The only targets we really have are uh, Celestial Colonnade, but they are good targets. Wasteland Strangler is just a dude. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I like that. That seems fine. <clears throat> Jason Teffrey are fashionable gentlemen. Mm, to a fault, no less. I will play first. I will keep this turn. Oh god. Oh god. It's so it's it's a turn two thought not seer, or we can just try to play Kaya on turn three. I'm just gonna go turn two thought not seer. Like they have to have path, and if they do, we get to draw we get another land, so they still get to play this, and it's just kinda like very good. So we got Opt, Negate, Mana Leak, Elspeth, Baneslayer. I don't care about any of these cards. We're going to take the... Take the Negate. At least we can play around uh, an Opt. Or uh, what do you call it? Mana Leak? Neon Tokyo Rain, what's going on, buddy? You'll always be Neon Tokyo Rain in my heart. Now I wish we took the other one. Whatever, we can play it next turn. So what did they play? They played Flooded Strand? Sure. I 
a mail like this, right? No? Do I care about the mana leak now? Like, next turn we get to play Thought Nuts here. We don't have backup yet, though. Yeah, we'll just take mana leak, I guess. We have five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Everything up to planes is correct. Are you guys ready for the top deck terminus that comes out right now? Yeah, do that. Opt now. So now we get whatever you lands. Okay, we'll take a Bane Slayer. Sure. So you have three lands and an Elspeth. Terminus on the top. Oh, I guess they're... Well, it's still, it's still a possibility. That does not change things. Okay, we went right to the main phase. Whew. No detention sphere. All right. Looking fashionable. You're so much more handsome live. Wow. Wow. Well, I do what I can. I do what I can. I don't really want to walk into a... Uh, into a thing. Let's put the cards they can... They can get back with, with my dude. With their Snapcaster boy. We won the game. I think our sideboarding is fine. I have red hairs in my mustache. Are these going to go gray or just stay red? They're likely going to go gray. No one actually turns ginger. Usually when the hairs are going gray in your, in your beard and mustache, it is because the pigment is dying and they will soon become gray, my friend. Godspeed. This hand is actually terrible. We have a lot of, we will have a lot of beefy boys, but we have no way to cast them. This hand is also real bad. This is a turn two collective brutality. We're going to play the swamp first because there's no situation. We have to draw Eldrazi Temple and Thought Knots here in order for the Eldrazi Temple to do anything on turn two. However, if we draw a white source, we can still play Castigate on turn two. So. Um, <clears throat> this is interesting. Let's get rid of Cryptic Command. God, I love this white crypt, this white misprint Cryptic Command on Magic Online. That's gas, though. They have Field of Ruin. Got him. Oh, that was uh, not terrible. What are they going to do here? Field of Ruin, my Eldrazi Temple. Oh, joke's on you, buddy. I didn't even need that. What I did need was this white, my dude. <laughs> so your hand is literally just three lands and a terminus. Sounds good. Only one thing has been exiled, though. So, But, I mean, Castigate did the job. Eldrazi Temple. Oh, Thalia is fascinating here. What, they play an island? They play Flooded Strand? Okay. Is this where you Cryptic Command? Or Thalia? Did you just top deck a Cryptic Command? No. No, you did not. Okay. Well. Oh, it doesn't even... Yeah, I guess they could have Cryptic Commanded, but they... 
That's actually pretty good. It gives us a second card to uh, to exile. We just have to dodge Cryptic Command here, I guess. Logic not to, it seems. Come on. Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> Your hand is three lands? <laughs> Oh boy. Really? Oh, thank goodness. Whew. I was getting I was getting the sweats for a second there. Alright, so you just have literally three lands in hand. This is gas. Are we just gonna crush this blue white control list? I was getting the meat sweats. They were real. Alright, what did you play? Glacial Fortress? Alright, we knew about that. Unfortunately, we can't activate and do a thing. Meat sweats come from the beef hole. Nothing, nothing about that's okay. You like how I always actually accident. Let's get a wastes because we need it. Or we can actually get another land. Uh, no, I definitely want to get a wastes. I think the potential of playing these guys next turn is more important than castigating this turn, so. I think I went on the wrong website. Yeah, you might be right. This is not as good as uh, Snow Bueno. Okay. <clears throat> Aren't you dead to... You're dead to Reality Smasher or Castigate, so you have to have a... Come on, just give me one land so I don't have to, don't have to rely on Shambling Vent. It's so bad. I mean, we have Runner, Runner, Runner times Infinite, so... If they have Path, I mean, they have to, like, Planes, Planes, Path has to be... You have to have drawn Supreme Verdict and Path. I've never had so many lands. Thank well, you. got him. 1-800 Laserface. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I actually, we played against each other, and I was like, this is the best name ever. And uh, really appreciate the sub, buddy. money whose money am i taking spicy jalapeno 100 enjoying you while smoking this <laughs> you know what i accept i accept your 420 i hope you're i hope you're safely uh consuming okay so we're 2-0 right now which is pretty unbelievable <clears throat> let's take out the journeys yeah thalia was thalia is a solid lady who's that lady Solid lady. I kind of want Oblivion Ring here. Was there anything cool from um, from Ravnica? Let me look over Ravnica real quick and make sure there's nothing cool from like from or Orzhov that we want to bring in here. I mean, Kaya, obviously. So, Mortify, but that was already legal. Seraph of the Scales is pretty cool, but it has nothing to do with exiling. Taste of Karlov, a creature dying, calls a trigger, really important you control the trigger. That ability triggers additional time. We can play Taste of Karlov, and then when they kill our Thought Knots here, they get two, they get to draw two cards. That's pretty cool. That's not cool at all. Consecrate Consume is actually interesting. I don't think it's great for this deck, but it is pretty cool. Like, Consecrate is exile target card from a graveyard. And you draw a card, so that's neat. It does help our processing. And then consume makes them sacrifice the creature with the greatest power they control, and we gain life equal to its power. Swap the basis as that will how <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay, so snowy boys. Snowy boys. 
<laughs> You're so ridiculous. All right, done. That one where they create stopters and exiles. What is that? What is that? One eight hundred laser face. We didn't play against each other. A hundred percent, we played against each other. Hold on. Let me go to my account here, and I'll go to my game history. And I have to scroll all the way down because it doesn't do the the bottom is like the most recent. One eight hundred laser face right here. Unless it's a different la unless there are two one eight hundred laser faces. I mean, this is L A Z E R face, but I have to assume they're similar. Like, I had to assume like it's the same. It's just you, unless you're one eight hundred laser face with an S, and this is one eight hundred laser face with the Z. And there are two laser faces. Oh my God! There are two one hundred percent. There are two one hundred one eight hundred laser faces. That's unbelievable. I this is I don't think we can go on. I think we're gonna have to end the stream early, guys. I'm sorry. There's two one eight hundred laser faces. I'm so so weird. I don't actually think we need this. We have seven discard spells. I'm gonna get collective brutality out of here. Just get on out of here, collective brutality. I was gonna bring an oblivion ring. Has there been a better oblivion ring printed? Like, is there a better Oblivion Ring version? Like, I know there's, like, Detention Sphere. There's Deputy of Detention. So, like, I must hunt him. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to take Damping Sphere out of the sideboard. It shuts off our Eldrazi Temple, but that's pretty much it. I don't think that's good enough. We also have very few answers against Tron, right? Like, I mean, if they go Tron, it's hard to Surgical Extraction their things. I mean... I don't know. I like Oblivion Ring better than Journey just because of the matchups like that. Actually, what if it's a, instead of Oblivion Ring, let's just put an Anguished Unmaking. Let's just Anguished Unmake in the main deck. Wow, that's a good idea. That just gets rid of it forever. That's so much better. What are we? Wow, that was what a good what a good decision. I'm so God, I'm smart. It's unbelievable. You guys are welcome. I really appreciate I really appreciate you guys being here for these revelations that we have on stream. Uh, what about Fulminator Mage? Do you like Fulminator Mage for uh, the old uh, the old Tron lands, Tron arenas? Doomfall is Doomfall good? It does exile lots of things. The problem is it's a sorcery, so like you'll never get a Celestial Colonnade with it. Can we? Hmm. I don't know what to do now. Okay, so I know Laserface was the character in Guardians, but is the is one eight hundred Laserface is that referenced in the in the movie? The number, the phone number. If it is, and two people made <laughs> accounts, it's pretty hilarious. Okay, so when I Google one eight hundred Laserface, the first thing that comes up is ideal image, skin, face, body, med spa. So if you guys are looking, uh. For that kind of thing, head over to 1-800-LASERFACE and uh... Okay, so it's Taser. What's going on? This this chat has gone down a wormhole for sure. Alright, what are we doing here? We got we got I think we're good, but we have to add two sideboard cards now, so I'm not sure where we're going with this. Relics? No, we have we have so many ways to exile graveyard things. Against a control deck, what are we gonna do? What are we doing? This is the weird side of YouTube. Yeah. I came for the magic, I stayed for the laser faces. Oh, sideboard godsend. <laughs> there you go. I will equip a godsend to a Thought Knots here. It's the weirdest shit you'll ever see on, on a magic stream. Hmm. <laughs> I 
dark confidant. Um, that's, <laughs> I'm not sure if we're a dark confidant deck. I really kind of want to play Oblivion Sower at some point. Is there any land we can take out to play Cavern of Souls to name like Thought Nazi? It's a name Eldrazi, obviously. What about just two Cavern? What about ca two Cavern of Souls? I don't like that. I'm gonna name, I'm gonna put another I'm gonna put another uh, damping sphere in the sideboard, and we're gonna put one more. One more Thalia. I actually like these. I thought those were very good. So I think that's fine. Let's do it like that. Also, if you guys ever want to hop in the queues against us, that's fine. I'm just picturing Jim a golden face in the Michael Scar movie from The Office. God, that oh that, that I saw that episode recently, probably within the past two weeks, and it was fan. It's so good. Still talking magic and we never know what earth we are on. Is it 616, 617, 783? Would you rather all cards have white borders or would you rather have every card have the weird future slight border? God, I don't know. Um, I would probably say white borders because the future slight border is kind of tilting. Like not tilting like I'm like, I can't deal with it, but like it's just, it's too weird. Like it's too strange. We got two. We got two inquisitions. That's good, right? It's got to count for something. I don't think it counts for anything. Wow, go down to twenty-four lands. A reasonable twenty-four lands, and we have to mulligan multiple times. This has multiple plays if we hit a land, so I'm going to keep it, and we're going to hope that there's either a an Eldrazi Temple, or be a white black land. Nailed it. God, we are good at this game. Ain't no pie around this chicken, Laporte. Did I? That's, yeah, that is what they call me, actually. I tried to lose that name in college, but no bueno, my friend. No bueno. Oh, Kaya can exile Monastery Swift Sphere? What a time to be alive. Also, Progenitus can't be printed in the future side frame as is. I feel like there are certain cards, like, neither could, like, Cruel Ultimatum, right? Like, it's really weird that they designed this frame that couldn't actually contain all those cards. So I think we have to Castigate, and then we hope we draw another land so we can Wasteland Strangler. The problem is this is going to cost us a million damage. It can't cost you damage. It's going to cost a million life. Uh, that's actually better, because now we can Castigate. We only take two. We exile a card for free, and then we can Wasteland Strangler the Eidolon. So we only take about 700, I think. Which I guess is fine. It's only 700 damage, guys. Bump in the night? Are you going to ever have the mana to flash this back, which is six? I'll take the Rift Bolt, because bump in the night at least uh, can only go to face, so we can still have a blocker for the Swift Spear. This looks like a spicy cockadoodle brew if you catch my winks. I did not. Nor will I. And they're going to bump in the night. We're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go to seven. And then we're going to go to five. And then we're going to go to three. And it feels good. land that doesn't kill me Ugh. i think we're dead so we take two and then we take two we go to three yeah we're just gonna go to the next one we had a good run i don't think this is a fair matchup though i think our opponent cheated uh, i don't care about this fatal push is probably good against these idiots I don't know if I want to take a path out for it. I don't know if I want to be anguished on making here. That seems a pretty aggressive. That seems a pretty aggressive. Uh, I don't think we're oblivion soaring either. Let's bring in the Thalias and the two Purges. Take out one path because we're bringing a lot of other removal. And we'll probably take out one Reality Smasher because we do have Blight Herders as well. Kaya can actually gain us some life. So... This is the match your face is for. Got her. Wow. 
Did you guys experience that amount of wreckitude? God, it was brutal. Demir Mastermind. More like wrecked. Uh, Goblin Guide will take this turn. Eidolon will take next turn. something good so they played mountain and lava spike so here's the question we could play Eldrazi Temple set up for a nice 5 drop I think we're going to do that because this isn't needed now we definitely want to take this Eidolon and uh, thankfully you did not draw another Eidolon so you have 4 cards 1, 2 so it's all those. We'll play we'll play this. If we need to play this next turn, we have nothing else. We can play caves, and that's fine. JT, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Four months of regular Earth subs, one month of alternate laser face Earth subs. <laughs> oh man, that is the uh that is the distribution I prefer. Every for every one month of, of Earth life, I prefer one month of alternate laser face earth life as well. So I feel like that's good for us. Oh yeah, exile your cards. Oh, beautiful. Let's do that. Let's do all the things. That's fascinating. She goes to four. But then they just get to play Skewer the Critics or Lightning Bolt. And they played Bump. So I think they have both of these, right? Oh, man. Like, we have to have a black and a white for whatever we're going to do. So we'll just play this. I think this is probably better now. Yeah, Lightning Bolt's just better. <laughs> like, So your one card is a Skewer. Maybe you actually get aggressive and play that next turn, and then Arkaya will likely survive. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say, guys. Magic's a hard game. With lots of, uh, lots of, lots of moving parts. Like people, you might say. The, the minus one does kill Lava Mancer. If they skewer us, we're probably just going to play Kai. Yep, they have no cards. We're probably going to get rid of this guy. And, uh, you know. Well, that's also a thing. She's going to be at four. They can kill her. We go to six if we want to play one. We can only play one card this turn. We go to six if we eat the Grim Lava Mancer, but then we go to, if they draw a spell, we go to three, and then we go back up to five if we activate Kaya. The problem is if we negative Kaya, she goes down to two, we get rid of this, but we actually don't have any way to draw. Uh, not draw, that's not, what I'm, that's not what I'm trying to say here. I'm going to play the Eldrazi Temple because we don't need a second black, but we do want... If we hit a white source next turn, I would like to play that and still have the Eldrazi. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If we draw a white source, we're, we're not going to draw anything to play with either card, so it doesn't matter what order we put in them. And then I had a sad. That's like the best top deck you could have had. Now I wish I kept the Sessional Purge and just used Kaya. What can you do? Unless we draw another Celestial Purge. Or something big. Shambling Vent isn't huge. But on the bright side, Kaya is going to negate the life, the damage we take. So we go to three, and then we exile like Eidolon and Lava Spike. Uh, Bump in the Night and Eidolon is actually probably better. Alright, we're at five. Any top deck probably kills us. I don't know, Burn's Rough. I mean, if you're going to put something in against Burn, I don't think it's Collective Brutality. It's probably more like... Um, I'd rather have, like, Timely Reinforcements or uh, Core Firewalker, which I think is one of my favorite. Just don't do it. Don't have it. The funny thing is, if, if Caves of Quillos was just a regular white source, we would be at four right now, and this card, whatever they're going to play right now, would not kill us. Uh, 
Is this like a, the, the biggest slow roll in Magic history? Yes, it is. All right. Well, magic's hard. Sometimes uh, people just throw their throw their spells at your face. That'll do, pig. All right, so let's put in two timelies. <clears throat> Take out one fatal push and one thalia. I actually like the I like the castigates a lot. I think they've been doing doing well. Do we just replay the burn? Let's just replay the burn matchup. I feel like winning this is relevant. This hand seems terrible against burn. Sower seems bad? What is sower? Blight sower? Are you talking about in the main deck? A blight herder? Sower? What are you saying right now? <laughs> oh, Oblivion Sower? Um I don't think it seems bad, no. Oh, against Burn, but yeah, we're in like main, we're not we're main deck, right? Like I, I boarded him out last game because we Yeah. I mean he was already boarded out last game, so it's not like a This is this is alright. Yep, that guy goes to the bottom. Alright, see like we're automatically not drawing that one, so that's nice. Uh, what do you think about Journey? I don't think we need extra creature removal, which is why I took them out last match. We already tried them, and then we took them out. Because against, like, control matchups, you just don't need them. Not only do you not need them, like, they're really bad to top deck. And, like, we actually had to, uh... We replaced them with Anguished on Making, because I think that's just a stronger, more versatile card against things like Teferi or Detention Sphere. Kaya... See what's happening here. Skull crack, searing blaze, searing blaze, swift spear, lava mancer. So swift spear is probably gonna deal us the most damage. We can probably play Kai if we hit a land next turn. I don't care about blazes because we have thought knots here, which avoid them. And skull crack is just kind of narrow. I think monastery swift spear is the pick here. It's basically a grim lava mancer that we have a chance to get rid of if we draw a land for Kaya, and then she dies to. Goblin God. We can also just draw a land and play Thought Not Seer, and then they, they there's no way they can double skull crack us. Or Searing Blaze us. So Wooded Foothills and Grim Lava Mancer sounds good. Wasteland Strangler. No cards are exiled yet. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. So we actually get to play nothing next turn. I guess we could play Wasteland Strangler and just not. And then they just get to shoot it by exiling some things. That's kind of funny. I really like playing against Burn. That's inter that is interesting. I think you may be in the minority. The irony is that if we pathed one of these guys, I think we're actually okay to do that. We don't have any creatures, so we actually have no targets for Searing Blaze. So they basically just have skull crack in hand. Burn is pretty predictable. That is not incorrect. Blight Herder, huh? Okay, well. I would sure love to be able to... Uh, so we know their whole hand. They can skull crack us, but that's pretty much it. We went to 20... Like, 24 lands is more than enough to hit a third land drop, right? It's not like we're... It's not like we skewed our mana base in such a way that, like, we just don't get to draw three lands in a game. Like, that's... This is a Bloodstained Mire, which is pretty rough. It's pretty rough for them to have drawn that because now they get to crack it and play and just Searing Blaze our Wasteland Strangler. So we take another three. 
But we do get this off the board, and if we take even two from this guy, it's a yikes. It's a yikes for me, dog. All right, let's do it. Why did you cut our 24th, 25th, and 26th? I only cut our 24th and 20th. We have our 24th land. I cut our 25th. Oh, I cut our 25th land, which is actually 25th land. And I cut our 26th land, which was our Orzov signet. But the 24th land is still good, I think. And Insta Searing Blaze. You're welcome. All right, so now we know they have Blaze, Blaze, Blaze Crack. They have Blaze Crack, so. Um, if we get to play Kaya in the next L2 cards, we get to go up to 11. Like, we're just hoping to dodge top decks and hoping to hit lands. This is just how it goes. Doc Man, thanks for hanging out, man. Really appreciate it. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Have a good afternoon or night, whatever, uh, whatever it may be. Oh, they did nothing. They played a land. This is great news. Land. Huh? You know what? It's got to be done. We break even, it puts us ahead on board. It's fine. We could also Thought Knots here, but then they just get to... I guess they don't get to do anything. We can just Thought Knots here next time. Let's get rid of Lava Spike and Grim Lava Mancer. Game two. Oh, they skull crack us in response! Oh, magic is so hard. It's so hard, dude. Shut up and take my money. Still enjoying the bong and watching you struggle missing lands. Here's a pick-me-up. 820. Shouldn't it be 840? Interesting. I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, this is where he's dead. And they literally like cheering. Don't they have a... Nope. Mm, yeah, maybe. Get rid of this. Get rid of the goblin guide. Okay, are we dead? Are we dead? We could actually play another Kaya. Or we can just hope to dodge for one... T actually, let's activate this guy. Nope, they got Searing Blaze. No, actually, we'd survive, though. We'd go to five. We're going to take one from this and one from the Blaze. God, three damage. Really? We're at three? We're at three. They have no more... They have one Monastery Swift here. Oh, my God. Thought Knots here turns on Searing Blaze. I think it's correct. I think this is correct. So here's the thing. This is at five. So if we ultimate next turn, we gain four. If we just activate this right now, we gain two. Choose a Kaya to keep. I'll keep the, the, the smaller Kaya. We will get rid of Swift Spear and Skull Crack. All right. This is emotionally... This is emotionally draining. No. Don't play an Eidolon. Don't play a bigger card than Eidolon. What's three mana in the red deck? Oh, are you just gonna... It's the... The Skewer the Crowd? Whatever it's called. Skewer the Critics? The problem is we're out of life gain here. Yep. That's a rough one. God, I feel like we're... Well, they can't actually activate... All right, well, they can't activate... They can't kill this. They can't activate Searing Blaze is what we're, what we're trying to say here. Oh, we could have actually... We could have exiled our own graveyard. I'm a dummy. 
I'm the, the biggest dum dum that's ever walked the dum dum earth. Oh, that might have that might have costed us. Costed us? That might have cost us. We could target our own graveyard. We could have exiled Wasteland Strangler and Path to gain two extra life there. I mean, now they have one, two, three, four, five. They have eight cards exiled. So if we just survive this turn, just dodge one three damage burn spell. We're dead. We're so dead, dude. We're not dead? Oh, my. I think I have the vapors. So now we can take the Searing Blaze, unless they want to deal one with it and take take two. Double Searing Blaze. Okay. So do we take two and take the other one? No, because they're probably just dead if they do that. So their hand is literally Black Leaf Cliff. So they can play Black Leaf. They can Searing Blaze this guy. They take two. And then they just die to Shambling Vent. We take two, but we're, like, saving a lot of things. I think we can go to nine here pretty safely. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? And they probably should have just played that. No, maybe not. They're at five. <laughs> maybe not. All right. Well, your move. All right, Oblivion Sowers can come out. One Reality Smasher comes out. Fatal Push comes in. Timely reinforcements, like a boss. Rest in peace, out. Path, out. Bring in Purge instead. Hmm. Two less cards. Is Thalia good against them? Thalia actually seems pretty okay against them. Yeah, I like a Thalia. I think everything else is pretty good. Oh, Anguish on Making is pretty rough. I'd probably rather just have the paths in here. If, even if it gives them land, it's whatever. I don't want to take a million damage from that. I can actually see Damnation and Wrath of God coming in as well. I'll bring in a Wrath of God. Why no Lingering Souls? Hmm. It's a solid, uh, it's a solid question. I think it's just because it doesn't really fit. I mean, it always fits. It's a black. Is it a black white deck? Yeah, then it fits. Okay, well, uh, I think it's more because. Uh, yep, take it. It does need utility two drops. That's my biggest, I think that's the biggest flaw of the deck is the two drop slot is, is a little bit uh, emaciated, I want to say. Treasury map, eh? Um, so I kind of just want planes just to get rid of this guy. Uh, we can get a swamp with this and then castigate. I think that's fine. But I want to minimize the amount of damage I take at every single point of the game. And then I, I really want to time this, <laughs> time this, so that we can play a timely reinforcements on turn three. Did they give us a free land? Oh, biscuits. You can get rid of Blight Herder. I don't want to path now because I don't want them to untap with like three mana because then they just play a two drop and they do a thing. We also get a free card off this, which I think is important because then we play a land and then we play Castigate and then we're fine. I like Tidehall of Scholar, but I think Castigate might be better. Actually, Tidehall of Scholar might be better. I don't know. I think that's. A, I think the slot is the same. Uh, it's definitely open for interpretation because one is a 2-2 and one is a sorcery, but they're both exiling card in hand. Do you want to give me a land? No, you don't? <laughs> Typical. You think you're better than me? You think you're better than me, Goblin Guide? I don't think so, buddy.
I mean, we have enough lands in hand. I'm not actually... We're not, we're not land hungry here. Don't get me wrong. I see. Okay. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Well, you're doing your thing. You're doing your your life thing. You're you're hurting me. Let's get a swamp and we will cast Castagari out of you. Skullcrack Lightning Bolt Deflecting Palm. Well, we're taking the Skullcrack because that's good against our timely reinforcements. In case you didn't know. Okay, that one's gone. Why are you gonna draw lands? Gabby Sparks draws lands. Wow. That's rough, man. You're killing me here. So we need to have Deflecting Palm and one other card. I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna take one here instead of two. I'm gonna play Kaya and then we're gonna actually exile Blight Herder and Marsh Flats. So we can gain two here and put this up to four. Yep, that's fine. I can exile that guy. Okay, so let's timely here and hope they didn't just draw a skull crack. Did you top deck? No, your last card is Deflecting Palm, so that's gas. Exile this guy. All right, this is actually going quite well. Play this. Yep, all right. So you have one card, it's Deflecting Palm, and we have three one ones, and we're at 13, and we have an active Kaya. I feel like that's good. And we just won like that that's how you do it ladies and gentlemen that's how you do it um we're 3-1 and we lost to burn and then we tweaked it a little bit and now we no longer lost to burn hmm fascinating fascinating i kind of like this deck it's pretty sweet kaya actually did some serious work she gained you life uh we ultimated her once that was pretty sweet and she exiles a lot of relevant one drops Champion of the Parish, Goblin Guide, Monastery Mentor, Swift Spear, not Mentor. Um, I don't know if I'd make any other changes. I think she's underrated, but I also think she is kind of niche. There were definitely times where we just had nothing to exile and there were no permanents to exile. So like, thankfully you can tick her up, but to what end really when you don't have any exile cards? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I like this deck a lot. I think it's really sweet. Uh, I'm going to play one more match because these matches have actually been pretty quick. Uh, do we just Tide Hollow Scholar? Do we try Tide Hollow Scholar instead? I don't... The problem is Castigate gets rid of... It just title of color kind of turns on the removal. All right, new match, new match. Maybe we can. I, I don't know if I want to ruin our three one with a three two with a potential three two, but we can give it a we can give it a shot a, sh a shot. We can give it a little shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll also try to go four one. I think that's also a, a reasonable. I don't hate this hand. An Eldrazi Temple or any, like, colorless land is pretty good here. Especially with Rest in Peace because we have double Blight Herders, so. God, Bitter Blossom. I just want to put Bitter Blossom in all my decks that have, uh... Oh, it's a black and white deck? Just put some Bitter Blossoms in there. 
Seems good. for the weary. You just gained eight life. Fascinating. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that was that was pretty much my reaction as well. Well, you're not going to be flashing that back anytime soon. Alright, we still need to color this land here. A, uh... An Eldrazi Temple off the top really puts us in good shape. It lets us cast this guy and this guy in succession. Can you imagine? Whenever you, whenever you get, oh, I see what's happening here. Thank you. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Guardian Links, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it, Jake. Two is better than one. It feels like longer than two months. That's very strange. Um, Do we just play Strangler out here? Probably, right? I can't imagine not playing Wasteland Strangler here and like having a better target. I guess they could make a 1-1 one -one and we can wait until that point to just kill a, a random 1-1. One -one. I don't think that sounds very, uh, that's not a recipe for success, let's say. That's rude. I don't know what's going on. There's an island now, and then there's also a lightning helix. And this Dawn of Hope is really causing me some some shenanigans here. I'm really afraid of what I'm going to see. I'm actually... It's not... Snapcaster, don't care about you. Arc Bond. Choose a creature. Whenever that creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to each other creature and each player. What? What? <laughs> Just stop it. Maybe you gain life, you may pay two. This is... This card's... This card's some bullshit. I don't care about either of these. What is even happening right now? I'm going to take As Foretold. I think it's the most broken card available. <sighs> Bring in Surgical. I need this list. That's pretty hilarious. Did I curse? What did I say? Can you guys repeat it in the chat? Can you repeat what I said? Surgical Extraction, copy opponent's deck list. Interesting. I might have actually erred on the side of Dawning of Hope to make a 1-1. Can I get a colorless land? Can a dude get a colorless land? Don't do me like this. Whenever that creature is dealt damage this turn, it deals that much damage to each other creature and each player. I guess you make a 1-1 one, one, and then you arc bond your own 1-1 one, one, so that like if they block a Blight Herder, everything takes 4. Oh, did I say BS? My god. I'm so sorry, guys. I should have warned you. Unfortunately, we did not draw a coveted land. We drew a path... To Smexile. Uh, I don't foresee them playing Restore Balance when they have a ton of it's not a basic lands in play. Yeah, that's not how that's... That's that's not going to go like that. Oh, yeah, they do it on the 1-1 so that it has lifelink, and you're like, well, I got a million life now. What? Just let this resolve. I know you have Arcbond, Arcbond, Snapcaster. This is not... This is not a... A complex interaction here. Oh, 
I miss the days when Frank made his head super big on screen. Well, you're in luck, buddy. You are in luck. There you go. Say what you did. Look what you did. Now you have to deal with your. Now you have to deal with the consequences of your actions. Yes, we can actually blight herder this if we hit one land, which is actually insane. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. Or super small, and you have to find his head. Well, you know what's you know what's happening now, I guess. Going right over here. All right, now we did it. So, well, you guys can blame chat for this, just so you know. I feel like this isn't much smaller than normal. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. I really tried to be as small as I could for you guys, but nothing's good enough, I guess. Fifteen big head buckaroos. <laughs> like you do. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, my excitement is palpable right now. This is going to be amazing. Oh my god, we're going to put their ancestral vision into their trash can. I'll choose this guy. Oh my god, we're going to process your ancestral vision. We can also path our own guy to get a... Oh, wow, this is gas. We can path our own guy to get a waste now. Oh, my God. I have to go back to normal now. Because um, I'm making myself uncomfortable with, with this. I think that's about right. All right, we did it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that, as they say. Do we path our own guy? I'm pretty sure we have to path our own guy. We have to play like Thought Knots here. We have to get things we have to get things rolling here, guys. Five, six, seven. We also have seven mana if we draw an Eldrazi Temple, but that doesn't do much. Oh, another path. Alright. This is nice because if they do do try to play like Arc Trail arc bond arc whatever it is we get to path the guy in response uh, i'm sorry what <laughs> that's uh uh-huh go on that's fine snapcaster is a blank when we open on rest in peace scarab god we don't care about because we have an answer for it or it just dies and it never comes back I think you're playing against a random card generator. I mean, I can see the Ancestral Vision, like Scarab God, like as foretold com. I don't know if that's a combo. I guess we block here and then they draw a card. Like they're gonna draw a card either way. You know what I mean? So we're gonna we're gonna block. They're gonna arc bond. We're gonna path this dude. Everything's gonna be fine. I feel like it's beyond my comprehension. It's like when you're trying to... It's you're trying to see in higher dimensional space-time, like fourth dimension, seventh dimension, and you don't really understand it, but you know something's going on. You're like, there's something going on here. That's what they're just playing on a higher dimension. Like, that's all. That's all. That's all it is. So we know you have four cards. We have an Arc Bond, a Snapcaster, and a Scarab God. Those are the three we know of. Give me one land so I can keep up path. Thank you. It's very nice of you. So now we can actually Blight Herd, and uh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. I guess we're just going to keep up that. We're going to go get a uh, another Plains, I guess. No, I guess we'll get a Swamp because... Do we only have swamps, or do they just both look like swamps? Wow. That's sad. 
I hate it when the basics look the same in the deck and you have to actually look at the title. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, because they're just going right back. They're playing 40 chess. Unfortunately, we're playing Magic, which is the actual game we're playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, don't bring a 40 chess set to a Magic fight. That's what I always say. Does he always say that? Sometimes. So again, there's no real point to uh, not blocking this because if we're trying to avoid them drawing cards off Dawn, they're going to do that anyway. However, if they do try to do some arc-bound shenanigans where they want to deal four to everything here, which they do, we're going to say goodbye to this gentleman. We could have actually... Oh, no, I lied to you. We could have actually blocked with the Scion and then sacked it. And that would have prevented all the things. What is this you're doing? I'm sorry, do you have a double arc bond? Did you draw a third arc bond? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, that didn't do anything. The path still resolved. Like, they put Arcbound down, and it's like, oh, whenever this deals damage, it, it, you know, and then, and then I'm like, and then the path resolves, the creature's gone. The damage is never dealt, even though they arc bonded it again. Oh, that's insane. I don't know what's happening right now, but it's all insane. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're just playing. Like we have, there's no, there's no reality where we're not just windmill slamming a thought not seer here, or a uh, reality smasher. You know what I'm saying? Listen to what I say, not what I play. Or the other way around. Man, I am glad we jumped in this fifth game though. That was nice. And the end. Do we have any cards that prevent them from gaining life in our sideboard? I don't think so. So you're not relevant, you're not relevant, you're not relevant, you might be relevant, you're not relevant, you're not relevant, not you either. It's not great. Rest in Peace actually seems pretty decent because they do have uh, Snapcaster Mages and Scarab Gods, so... We do have Anguished on Making as we have Castigates. I think our deck is actually fine. I don't know how they were going to win. If we Anguished on Making their Dawn of Hope, I don't even think we have a game there. Reality Smasher hits play. Realizes opponent is better at smashing realities. Counters self. <laughs> you know what? I think you got it under control here. I'll just... I'll just see myself out. New Stip versus his opponent. Don't do anything the first five turns and see if he can win. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm going to be the last one to ever criticize uh, Ingenuity. Not, it may not Ingenuity, but... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I can't think of the word. That's so awkward. Originality is definitely the word, sure. Well, they left the game. They're probably like, forget it, I'm out. I can't beat Reality Smashers. They're too good. They're too good.
I just want to see what the game plan is for this deck. No joke. Yeah, the same. I actually don't know what's going on, so. Is it me who? Am I disconnected? What's going on? Is this real life? Whose clock is going down? Theirs? Okay. Just making sure. All right. Well, fingers crossed that we're still live. Opponent alts just rally enough that Frank is actually the one that's disconnected, even though opponent timer is running down. Yeah, that's that's my greatest fear. Sometimes I wake up in cold sweats because I think my opponent's timer is going down, but on the back end, it was my timer that was going down. Frank bought bits for this. We should do a stream where we vote on a deck concept, then build a deck as a stream. I vote Stonehorn, Venser combo, Band Control. I actually like that idea a lot. Also, eating a sandwich. Thanks for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. And thanks for the pride flag. Appreciate it. Well played. I love your action, my Frank. Have you ever considered becoming a writer? I was thinking about it. I would love a deck with lots of alternate ways to win the game. Well, then you'd have to win the game again for the first time. So, Josh, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Good seeing you, good sir. That was a lot of goods in that sentence. Sing me a song while I cook my beans. <laughs> Sing me a bean singing song. Can you guys... Uh, do you guys want to vote on the parts for a bean singing song? We can all uh, pitch in, come up with different... Different parts. Beans, beans, the magical. Are we? I want to like. I want to re. I want to connect anyway, just to make sure it isn't us. Kapow, kapow, kapow. It's gonna be us. I guarantee you. It's gonna be like. Oh, sorry. There was a glitch in the matrix, and now you are actually disconnected. You see. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe the cat with the life claws. <laughs> this is my cat. And he has life claws. It's a cat. It's a cat meme. Come on, you get it. Everybody loves a good cat meme. It was definitely not us. Okay, that's good. That's good. We build an alternate win in all alternate win cons and name it alt right. Oh, I don't want to play any deck named alt right, unfortunately. Uh, awkward.
My favorite cat meme is the one where he has Fruit Loops on it. Says, "Please, brother, give me the loops." I don't think I've even seen that. Oh god! I decided to do meatless Mondays this year. Any recipe suggestions? I'll accept links, verbal instructions, or handwritten notes. Um, some of my favorite, uh, some of my favorite meatless options are Indian food. Indian food is some of the best meatless food you can get because you can always get it with paneer. And uh, in my opinion, when you make it with paneer, it's kind of just like an alternative Italian food a little bit. Our opponent is not coming back. We're going to end up going 4-1, I'm sure. And it's going to be sweet. And I'm sorry that the end of the video had to end like this. You guys on the internet who are watching this. But nonetheless, Eldrazi's and Kaya. That's what we're doing here in Modern. Where are you? Kaya Eldrazi. Oh my god. Please, brother, give me the... How have I never seen this? Oh my god, look at this chungus. Oh, I've never seen this meme. But look at this little chonker. <laughs> oh my god. Keep. Snap keep. Turn one this guy. Never had that happen to me before. I thought you left forever. This is a this is a sneeper sneeper I, I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm just gonna let's cut it short. Oh, eggplant parm is legit. Eggplant parm is definitely one of my favorite Italian entrees. I also eat, I do eat chicken from time to time. Actually, me and Felipe and Mike all went to Burger Monger last night and we got uh, Impossible Burgers. And Felipe was like, this tastes like meat. I'm super impressed. Rest Heartless Summoning. Well, this is an engine, so I'm taking this. I'm so confused right now. What in the earth? Okay, I think we've actually gotten to a point where, like, this is actually cards I own dot modern deck, maybe? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think it could be seriously impactful globally. I agree with you completely, and that is my, that is my most, uh, that is the, the point I'm most excited about. In terms of the Impossible Burger, if you guys are watching and uh, you don't have an aversion to meat meatless alternatives, definitely try the Impossible Burger. It is delicious. Ask them for their list. Hey, hey, man, can I get your list? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Although I do have uh, a little social anxiety, so I it's okay. We win swept heathed. And we rested for the weary. So we know these two cards. I really just want to be processing. Can I just process this? Ugh. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We have to draw like... Wasteland Strangler, I guess. We're going to take... I don't care about the life. We'll just take the Arc Bond. Arc Bond seems like... Arc Bond's a combo piece. I just want to process this. It's going to be two turns. If we can... If we can draw Eldrazi Temple in the, two, in the next two turns, we're good. This turn, they go to one. This turn, we have two turns. But I put Bacon on it because I'm a psychopath. Wow. I actually think vegetarian food is super tasty because you have to rely on uh, more flavorful vegetables and spices, right? Like you're actually forced to, what do you call it? Um, to actually get more flavor out of your natural ingredients than you would if it was meat.
So there's still a chance if we play Blight Herder next turn. There's still a chance for us to... Uh, or not Blight Herder. There's still a chance if we if we draw Eldrazi Temple to play Blight Herder next turn. So we can do it. We can do it. Temple. I don't hate that. But I don't think you have any cards in hand, so we probably just wait till next turn. God, we're so close to Blight Herdering. It's so sad. Uh, it looks like Mike B might want to join the stream. How do you guys feel about that? Actually, I'll wait till this. Let me, uh... We'll wait till this and we'll have him join when we drink. No, wow. Sorry, Frank, but I love the taste of sweet, sweet blood coming from the humans I hunt. I mean, animals, the animals that I cook. I by no means hunt any humans. Well, you know, this is awkward because now I don't know what to believe, so. Guys, if Mike B joins, we can all wish him a happy birthday again. It's going to be amazing. Are you guys ready? We'll say it's Mike B's birthday. Wow, this is what's going on right here. Is this going to be like, are we dealing with a Scarab God right now? Mother of God. Oh, that's terrifying. Snapcaster doesn't do anything. Rest gains you a million. You can have your Snapcaster. So your hand is a Delta and Snapperino. Oh my god. What is even happening right now? So I think you just played that. Whenever you gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. One five. Yep. Well, we could have blocked there. Well, we should have blocked. I wasn't going to kill this guy. And we're good at this game. Very good. Let's just reality smash on through. How's that sound? Pretty good? I thought so. So this is 9, 9, 18, 27. Not close to a... They also have Snapcaster, so they're probably just going to chump block with Snappy. Snappy boy. Seems fine. Even though I was, uh, I took part in the Eldrazi Winter. I was, I was one of the architects of Eldrazi Winter, you may say, and I still love the Eldrazi. I think they're just some of the coolest, most iconic creatures in Magic, and it's pretty sweet. This guy got to go. See you later, bye. Also, if you had Arc Bond on this guy, if you like, oh, I'll block your Rally Smasher, Arc Bond to this guy, every creature takes five. And every player takes five, and you gain that much life times two. So it'd be like, what, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You gain 50. Oh, God, that's disgusting. It's a Rally Smasher. It's going to be a Rally Smasher, ready? It was not a Rally Smasher. People who play decks like this are one lab accident from becoming a supervillain. Wow. Wow. No, for real, though, that's probably accurate. Are they dead on board? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They are. We're not going to attack with this because we don't need to. If they have Lightning Helix, though, maybe we need to. Unless they target one of the Scions. Snappy boy. So you block here, you take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you go to 2. This would have done it. We done messed up. We gave them a whole extra turn. Now they're going to top deck a Terminus, then it's going to be uh, it's all downhill from here, guys. Do they have two spells? If they have two things, I'm going to feel much better about it. Settle the wreckage. Do 
That's actually fine. It doesn't have lifelink. Wow, that was a that was a two card combo for sure. Yeah, we actually could have won this game right there. But now we still get we just lose Thought Knots here and the Scions. We get to keep our five fives and they go to like two. So they're pretty much in top deck mode. Oh, they actually kill themselves because it deals damage to them too. Oh wow, they just killed themselves. Because this deals damage to them. Oh, you done played yourself. You done messed up AA Ron. I think they're like, wait a minute. Mistakes were made. And trigger deal you four. Got him. Woo, the old 4-1. Not too bad, not too bad. Sarah, thank you so much, as always, for the opportunity to play this deck. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. You are the best. I hope, as usual, that uh, it was enjoyable. I had a good time. I think this deck is super sweet. I say that a lot, but I actually think we get to a point, like, when you go 4-1 in modern, like, I don't know. I mean... We're not taking decks to the Pro Tour. We're not taking decks to a competitive, a super competitive Grand Prix. This is a fun deck, and I would definitely be comfortable taking a deck like this to a local event or an FNM or something like that. And I think that's a pretty awesome place to be. So, on that note, yeah, I think this deck is super sweet. I really enjoyed playing Blight Herder. I wish we got to cast an Oblivion Sower, but we got to use every mode of Kaya, including uh, Ultimate in Kaya, which was pretty sweet, gaining eight life against the Burn deck. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much. If you guys want to check out. Um, how to get your own decks critiqued, feel free to check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Both of those give you ways to support the channel and do so. And you can check me out on Twitch and Patreon as well by, by themselves. And check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And that's about it. I'm not leaving the stream. The stream is not over if you guys are watching on Twitch. I'm just ending the YouTube video. So thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and I will see you next time.